Hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today is muscle endurance at its best. It's time to push yourself because no one's going to do it for you. All you need is a single kettlebell or dumbbell for this workout. Listen for my modification cues. Do what you can, not what you can't. Remember that good form and control is very important. I am super excited. Now let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a 45 minute single dumbbell workout. Yes, I have two here, but I wanna show you and demonstrate how to use one of them on the swing. I'm going to be using a kettlebell, so if you have a kettlebell, get that out. If you don't, no worries, we'll use the dumbbell today and I will demonstrate how to use that. So real quick, I just wanna show you before we get started. And for reference, I'm using a 25 pound kettlebell today. We're gonna to go ahead and put your right and left hand um, on the bar here on this dumbbell and we're just going to swing, okay? I'll cue you through how to do good form there, but you're gonna grab it in the center or you can grab it from the head here with a very good grip. Don't want anybody throwing their kettlebell through a window today or a dumbbell through a window. So you can hold it there as well, just in case you didn't know that already. But that is not what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using that kettlebell. So let's go ahead and warm up. We have about four minutes on the clock. Just to get started here, we're gonna start from the floor. Oh yeah, say what? Tatum never starts from the floor. We're starting from the floor. I do it at my gym. I do it at the gym, back and forth. Oh, knees side to side, nice and easy. Arms out wide. All right, we have an oblique crunch today where we'll be reaching across the body. I just wanna make sure we open up here and loosen up. So we'll stay at the floor. And this is an intense kind of uh, muscle endurance workout. Uh, the intervals are long, so the weight will not be real heavy. If you want to bring out extra weight today and sprinkle it around so you can play with it and you're not sure what you need, that is perfectly fine. For some of you that wanna keep it simple, just bring one out, work with that the whole time. Okay, that's side to side. Let's get that, the glutes on too and activate because we are swinging. We don't want to swing and have our back doing that work. So let's go ahead. From here, I want you to kind of tilt your pelvis so you have a bit of a flatter back without that arch. Squeeze your glutes and lift, okay? Up and down. Let's just lift. Make sure that you're feeling the bottom activate on both sides. We'll do a few with both, uh, right here this way, and then we'll go into a single leg just to make sure each side is working on its own, okay? So up, down, give it a little tilt, play with that tilt to make sure you feel activation throughout the entire bottom on both sides, all right? Takes a little bit of thinking, okay? So pause here at the top, don't rush it. All right, right foot only, so just lift that left one off, tilt a little bit again. We're tilting under, okay, we're tucking. We're gonna squeeze that right butt cheek, okay? And then we're just gonna lift through it, but push through the heel, not the toes. Squeeze and push, there you go. Try to feel that right bottom there, that right glute max activating. Good, give me two more here. One and two, good, whoo! Put the left foot down, right foot up. You can stick it out wherever you want it, just make sure it's off the ground again. A little bit of a tilt, squeeze that left cheek up and down. There you go, nice work. Push through the heel, not through the toes. Lift. Now, I'm feeling a lot of hamstring. I know that left side does not want to activate. I'm gonna to try to really squeeze and get it going here. So play with your positioning. Make sure that you're feeling some sort of activation there. Come on, good. Two more, one and two good job all right we're down to a minute 30 here i'm going to have you lay down on your stomach for a little scorpion arms out sometimes we stretch here at the end when i'm using this as a warm-up i like to rock so rocking in pushing into it sorry i hit my mic shoulder and chest there just stretching out a little bit nice and easy movements nothing too crazy don't push too far we're just warming up just getting some range of motion some movement through the shoulder and chest here Good, give me one more here. Make sure that arm is out like an airplane wing. Doesn't that feel good? All right, nice work there. All right, we're gonna go, oh, let's stay down. Cat cow for me, cat cow real quick too. All right, again, with all those swings, we're just gonna floss the spine. I want the toes to the floor, round out. You see me do a lot of this at the end, and a lot of times I like to do it at the beginning as well, but we usually stay upright in a standing position. Dump your belly, look up, pull the shoulders out of your ears, okay? Now, toes to the floor, start to tuck the pelvis like we were doing at the floor earlier. Round out, get the shoulders as high as you can. Really reach, drop the head. Good, then we're gonna bring the top of the floor, the feet to the floor, and we're gonna dump that belly. Roll back, keep the shoulders out of the ears, look up. 
Last one, real quick. Shoulder blades towards the ceiling, reach. Good, dump that belly, tops of the feet to the floor, shoulders out of the ears. All right, nice work. We're gonna start with a kettlebell swing. So go ahead, this is gonna be a good one. Make sure you're loose, all right? Go light on this first round here if you can. All right, here we go. Let's get those shoulders out of our ears. We're gonna set the weight out in front like we wanna hike a football here, okay? So just go ahead and grab that and we're gonna shoot it right under the body, not near the ground, but up under the body for our first swing. Here we go, three, two, and one, good. And then I want you to just pop those hips forward, tuck your chin, squeeze those glutes, stand tall, okay? Try not to arch back, we wanna stop, just nice and upright, pushing through our heels. Good, we're already halfway. I'm gonna give you your halfway marks today because we have a minute on the clock, that's a long time. Not all of us are gonna want that minute and some of us are gonna want more rest. There's 15 seconds between each exercise and we will, if you wanna take it up, get more rest and work less on the interval, take it 30, 45, or 50, okay? Three, two, and one, nice work. Will you stop that kettlebell too? All right, bring it out here and stop it. I tend to just let it kind of fall underneath. It's a good way to hurt the shoulders. We're gonna do push-ups for a minute, okay? Down from the ground, we'll find an incline. Let's go ahead and just start with a kneeling push-up to go over form there. So here, we're gonna do plenty of push-ups, it's okay. I'm gonna take time to kind of guide you through a few of these different formats or different modifications. So kneeling, the one thing that I see a lot on kneeling is a bottom high pushing here. Okay, I want that bottom down in line with the head and the spine so you know so that you're at a nice straight angle. If you want, go to your toes. All right, right here. And then for some of us, a I minute's mean, a long time, so let's come down and you can go ahead and do a release if you'd like from your nose or nose, <laughs> from your toes or your knees. I'm telling you what, this is gonna be an interesting 45 minutes with me today. You ever have one of those foggy brain days? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I have a brain fog for sure going on today. Here we go, push through. That's it, release, push through. This gives us a little break on the arms and the shoulders for a minute. Gives us a full range on the chest, which is really nice. All right, great job. Squat. These are all just common compound exercises today. Nothing too fancy, okay? The swing is the toughest. Go very light on that one, just getting form. Goblet squat here. I'm gonna hold my kettlebell upside down and I'm gonna squat down, okay? So, feet about shoulder width apart. And just remember, you can do some of this without weight, like this squat. Start with your weight. When it gets to be too much for that minute, either make a choice to stop and rest or keep going without the weight for the minute, okay? You have options. You have modifications, take them. It's your workout, not mine, not the other person in the room. It's yours, okay? Do your best. We're halfway, just in case 30 seconds is your interval today. Go 45, 50, or just do what you can. Don't even worry about the time. See what you can do, and then stop when you need to, all right? It's all good. We're here, we're making it happen today, all right? So let's uh, cheer for ourselves, clap a little bit, get excited. Even if we don't feel excited, we're doing it. We can be proud today. Here we go, three, two and one okay what i didn't tell you is that every fourth exercise is a tabata i did something similar like this a while ago i'm going to try to remember to link that workout if ever you don't see those things let me know all right let's come down to the ground we're going to reach over to the side this is just 20 seconds we'll have 10 seconds rest and we're going to do this four times that will make a total of two minutes here with this exercise instead of one but we've built in some rest and we've taken that interval down so go side to side really reach all right feel that crunch in the side here right in your oblique so kind of pull your feet towards your hands and reach for those ankles okay we're resting and i'm sorry i didn't tell you we were resting all right here's number two let's go ahead and work side to side there you go good job really reach pull those ankles over the feet there you go. That's all we're doing. 20 seconds here. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, two more. So every fourth exercise, those exercise, 
The exercise that we do, Tabata, is going to change. You're like, I don't care, Tatum, I'm just here, tell me what to do. All right, let's go into this crunch again. Here we go, 20 seconds. Side to side, feel it, you can do it. Reach. Good, that's it. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. All right, we're doing it, we got this. Here's our last one, okay? Last one. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Side to side. Great. So look at my notes if you're curious as to how this one goes. If not, don't worry about it, just follow along. That's the best thing about me coaching you. You don't have to think. A lot of my clients don't want to think. They just want to be told what to do. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. All right. Our next one's a burpee. We can make this a low impact workout, we can make it high. Let's start with our low, okay? One minute, and all the other rest of us can go high if we're there. So let's start low. We're gonna put our feet, our hands down, walk our feet out into a plank, okay? Walk them back in and reach, okay? If you wanna take a low jack here, you can. You can take a squat, whatever feels good. We're back down. Out, out, in, in. All right, reach overhead, or maybe tap out. Good. For those of you who are ready, we're gonna go into our jumps. No ground or chest to ground, just to push or just our burpee, okay? From high. And we're halfway. So a burpee for burpees for a minute. Again, no joke here. It's tough. Just modify. Take one of those burpees. You can take a box, a chair, and jump out from there and make it a little easier because you're at an incline. Just jumping your feet out and in, okay? Options. And I give you those options so you can do the workout and have a little fun with us. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right. We have five exercises in the circuit. We got through them. We're going back to the beginning. That was our swings. Heart rate's going to be up. If you need more rest here, take it, okay? Otherwise, grab that weight. Not too heavy. You need to be able to squeeze those glutes and brace. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Push back. Let's bring it right out in front just in case, okay? You can start here too, but you need to give it a few swings and then pop it up, okay? Right under the body. The other way is to start here, under and up. All right, we're working. Tuck the chin. Just a couple options to keep you safe. A lot of you have the dumbbell, so you're gonna be okay. Just swing. This isn't too heavy. There you go. Just tuck that chin out with the head out here in the neck, okay? Tuck it a bit. We're halfway, squeeze the glutes, keep that weight right underneath. The other thing you wanna do is compact the shoulders, bring them down, don't shrug, okay? They're down, and you're closing off your armpits. So if I was on that side, I shouldn't be able to tickle you, okay? You should be able to hold a piece of paper in there, okay? So really hug it out. We're just going about chest height. Three, two, and one. Hey, we made it through, you did a good job. Nice work. Again, I didn't slow that weight down, but we'll talk about it. It's pretty light today. All right, push-ups are coming up. Remember, you can find an incline if you'd like. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna go all the way down, all the way up. Even if we're from our knees, release up, okay? You can find an incline if you prefer. I love an incline push-up because we have good core in there. All right, core strength at an incline, which you need for a full push-up, which is why so many people who can bench a lot of weight, but try, try to do the push-up struggle. There's so much more, so many more muscles working for us when we're in this plank, right? All right, good, push. We're halfway. If you're doing 30 second interval, that's good. Give yourself 45 seconds rest here if you need it. If not, work a little bit longer. See what you can push out here. If you're at a full push-up, try not to go off the top of your legs here, okay? I want you to squeeze the thighs off the ground and the hips just slightly so you're pushing through the chest and you're not using those legs. Some of us will have to use them a bit. That's okay, but if you can do a full push-up, you need to be pushing with those legs off the floor. Rest. All right, let's rest. All right, we have our squats. This is our next Tabata, okay? We're moving up. Just do as I say. <laughs> so 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Grab your weight. Here we go. Just 20 seconds, okay? So I want you to move with a little bit of an up tempo. 
but I want you to do it with control. So those knees should not be caving in. They should be over your second and third toes. Three, two, and one. Rest, 10 seconds. Good job, three more like this. This will make two minutes, we'll move on. We're gonna keep our line of exercises in order, but the, the Tabata is gonna change almost. <laughs> All right, number two, here we go. I'm sorry, I put these in to my app, if you must know, and I'm gonna tell you either way. And I hear tab Tabata is what is being said here. Someone said that. Three, two, and one, rest. Oh, it's been a while since I felt this way. Here we go, two more. You've got this, you're doing awesome. Here we go, pick it up. Just 10 seconds, that goes by quick. Some clients and I had one of those talks the other day about how can time go by so quick in so many areas of our life and then when you're on an assault bike, it feels like forever. 20 seconds feels like forever. Go ahead and rest. One more. You really can. 10 seconds can seem a long time. Three, two, and one. Here we go, number four. Last one here, we're moving on. We only have 10 seconds rest, we'll move right in to our next minute exercise. Woo, which is gonna be those crunches. Feet up. There you go, come on, keep moving. Three, two, and one. All right, you're asking, how many times are we doing this? Because I didn't tell you. We have five rounds here before we get through, through five exercises, okay? You can do it. Here we go. We're working. Feet up. Bring those ankles over. Reach for them. Get a little crunch there. Nice work. If, if that hurts your neck, feel free to reach with one arm and kind of hold and support your head a little, okay? But don't pull on it. Just support it. Does that feel better? Yes to me. <laughs> Choose one, it's okay either way. You can mix it up back and forth. Good. Blow that air out. We're halfway, draw the belly button towards the spine. There you go. Good job. Side to side. There you go, come on. 13 seconds. Keep working at your pace. Just change your pace. It's a minute. You can slow it down if you need to. You can bring it up for more of a challenge. Three, two, and one. All right, burpees are next. Remember, you can keep it low impact. No jumping. Just step it out, step it in. It is great work. You're getting down to the ground and up. So important for good health and movement, okay? Here we go. Three, two, and one. I'll take you through one. Walk it out, out, in, in. Let's go with tap out so we reach overhead, okay? Everyone else, if you're there, we're just out and in. Try to get up off the ground there. If not, you can go with the jumping jack as well. Whatever works and feels best, but still keeps it challenging. Good. Woo, there you go. I'll let you know, we're almost at halfway. Halfway, 30 more seconds. Maybe you did a jump this long and now you need to go low. Take it low, modify, keep moving, okay? If you were in a race running, you would not just stop your race because you couldn't run, although I've seen kids do that. I've seen people do that. But if you couldn't run anymore, you would find a way to get to the end. You would keep walking. You would crawl. No. Here we go, three, two, and one. Or let's just take it every day. Your car breaks down. You would find a car, you would find something to keep moving. You might walk for a while, but you would get to your destination. Do that here, modify. All right, here we go, we have swings. This is number one again, round three. We're swinging, okay? Let's start from the floor this time, teach you that one. Some of you have a kettlebell, some of you have the dumbbell, you're just gonna give it a couple light swings and go. Here we go, from out here. Pop it under the hips, under the body, there you go. Talk, we are squeezing those glutes. We are keeping those shoulders packed, tucking our chin, just popping it. The arms do not lift. I get so many people that want to lift and lower the weights because they're scared with their back or they just don't know how to do it. Use light weight. I would rather see you go really light 
and get comfortable with swinging those arms instead of taking weight and trying to lift it. Okay, we're not lifting, we're swinging. The glutes and hamstrings, and that was halfway earlier, about 10 seconds ago. All right, sorry about that. Or earlier, there we go, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, great job. Push-ups are Tabata, all right. 20 seconds, 10 seconds to work. Four times, we get a little rest, so because we're getting a little bit of rest, I want you to work hard, okay? Don't rest too much, here we go. So we're gonna go down and up, one. And I want you to count them. And I wanna see if you can hit that number each time, okay? Each set. That's it, come on. You can do it from your knees, from an incline. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, three more sets. All right, here we go, get in position. Three, two, and one, here we go. Woo! Come on, dig deep, I know. Not an easy workout today, a little challenging, but make it your own. <sighs> Come on. Three, two, and one. Woo! Who made it, who made it? Did you get the same rep? I did, but barely squeaked it out. Number three, always the hardest. And then fourth, you just have that power because you know it's at the end. It's the last one. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. Come on. Tighten up. Draw the navel in. We want a nice tight core. Woo! Come on. Uh-oh, don't think I'm making it, but I kind of lost count. Woo! All right, did you make it? I don't think I did. All right. Last one, okay? Here we go, three, two, and one. Zone in, here we go. Dig deep. Last one. Come on, come on. Three, two, and one. All right. How did it go on that one? I made it, see? That third one. Always a doozy. All right, goblet squats are up next. Grab your kettlebell or dumbbell. And I didn't show you if you had the dumbbell to hold it here by the edge. Hopefully all of you have been training with me enough to know that. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're squatting. Whew, for a minute, heart rate's up. Do your best. I want good control. Knees are over the second or toe. If you have trouble with them coming in here, and you have a mini band, maybe you could put that on and practice your squats with your mini band sometimes. We're halfway, halfway, if you can keep going, even without the weight in your hands, let's try. All right, just always try for me. And then as soon as your form goes, it's time to stop. Woo, you got it. Here we go, hang in there. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Woo, good job. All right, we have our crunches. Grab a sip of water if you need it quickly. All right, crunches, feet are up. Here we go, reach toward those ankles, but pull, pull those ankles towards you, okay? So you get a little pinch here. At your waistline, okay? Put your love handles there. <laughs> Here we go, side to side. Great job, this is a minute. No Tabatas on this one. We already did them for the push-ups. The rest of these are a minute, this is the burpee. There you go, and reach, and reach. Woo, halfway. Okay, I think I'm going fast here. Time to slow it down, pace yourself, good. Really try to reach the shoulder and shoulder blade up and cross and pull those ankles towards your hand. Okay, reach. Give a good little pinch there. Good, 13. Not a bad pinch. <sighs> Just a squeeze. <laughs> Eight seconds. <sighs> Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Right into those burpees here. Step it out or jump it, okay? 
Up to you, you got it. You know what to do now. Mix it up. Five jumps, maybe five step outs, okay? You can do that too. Here we go. You might see me do that eventually here because we still have a couple more rounds to get through, okay? A couple more rounds. Hang in there, just take your intervals down, but keep working for me, okay? Take your intervals down. Or maybe not all of them, maybe just a few of them. Maybe this one gets the heart rate up too high. Take this one down. Woo, there you go. And again, you can do this. I'm not trying to be easy. I'm not trying to halfway give you an out. I just want you to know that it doesn't have to be all or nothing, okay? You don't have to show up and say, well, if I can't do that a minute, I'm not gonna do it. Start somewhere, start with the 30, start with the 45, all right? There's a lot of us out here doing this workout. We've all, we're all on our own roads to good health, our own journey. Three, two, and one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I didn't get in the same amount as I've been doing. Okay, this is our Tabata for swings, okay? Kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing Tabatas. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Let's just give it three little swings here. So push the hips back, small little swings, even with that dumbbell and work it up, good. Shoulders down, tuck the chin, squeeze the glutes, push through the heels, swing the arms. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this movement. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, there's a lot, so start very light. You gotta be able to brace. I want you to feel the glutes working on this one. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Right under the body, pop it up. All right, there's a lot going on. And I got myself in that situation at the gym where you get stronger and you keep pushing and doing more and you think, hey, all these muscles are helping and you can make it work, but we're not getting that squeeze. Here we go, rest. Sometimes it gets to be too much and we can't get the squeeze here. We can't feel it here. We don't want that to happen. Three, two, and one. Number three is up here. Just two more to go. Well, one more after this, okay? Good. That's it. Push the hips towards the back wall. Let the head follow. All right, so we just kind of tilt. We hinge here. We push through the hips and rest. Good. All right, last one. Let's go, three, two, and one. Woo, number four. Now has anybody realized what the fourth Tabata, or what the last Tabata will be today? We have one more round after this here. I'll keep it a surprise in case you don't know. Three, two, and one. It's an exercise I love to save for the end. All right, we got our Tabata over at the, at the beginning here. We're gonna go push-ups, squats, crunches, all that with our minute. Here we go. One minute on the clock, up and down. That's it. Do the best you can, modify. Maybe it's your toes and then you go to your knees. Maybe you find an incline. Maybe you find the wall. All right? It's all good because we're still working and we're still gaining strength. Even if we have to modify, we're gaining strength, okay? So don't write it off. Don't just stop unless you really, really have had enough and you just can't push anymore. But first try a modification before you stop. We're halfway. Try that modification first. Woo, there you go, come on. For those of you that can do full push-ups, I'm getting lazy, I'm starting to push off my thighs. Squeeze and lift. Woo, there you go, push through that chest. Squeeze and lift those hips just slightly, not too high. Just enough that you can't push off from the ground. There you go. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, squats. All right, squats, grab a sip. And you notice the only rest we have are the 15 and 10 seconds. I did not write in water breaks today. We're just moving for 45 minutes. All right, exercise three, here we go. Squat it off. All right, watch those toes. Over the second, third. Down, good. Good job. Let me know if you have a kettlebell on your side. Do you have a kettlebell at home? If you wanna buy one, let me know. Not for me. 
But if you have any questions about kettlebells or what weight to get, we can discuss it. Having one at the house is kind of fun. Some different things you can do with it. We're halfway. All right, so if you need to break there, take a break. Maybe five or 10 seconds, get back to it. Or drop your weight, keep going body weight. All right, do it. That's it. Don't like the knees fall in. Stay nice and stable and strong. At least we get to lay down after this. Crunches are next. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right. I know this is hard push, but you know what feels so good? Pushing and getting through it afterwards, knowing that you did it, that you actually tried your hardest and went the extra distance. Here we go. Side to side crunch. All right, I'm gonna reach across, hold that head a little bit, just give it some support. There you go. One minute, just pace yourself. There you go. You can even put your feet down, heels out a little bit, and slide and touch those feet here if that feels better for a while than having the legs up, okay? A couple options for you. I like to keep, keep you moving. So just modify and keep going. We're halfway. There you go. Woo. You are doing awesome, okay? So this is about the point in the workout or your race where you're like, ooh, that's it for me. I don't think I can do this. Get through this, this and the burpees. And I promise you, you can do it. We'll get there. We'll get there together. Just keep modifying, keep moving. All right? I'm not gonna give up on you today. You can do it. Three, two, and one. And I know it's a stretch, but you can do it. All right, here we go, burpees for one minute, all right? Our Tabata will be burpees on the next one, just so you know, I know, I didn't hold that. I'm not good at surprises. All right, next one, you'll have the Tabata. We'll get through it that way. Here we go. We're down and up, either with the step out or with a jump, okay? You do you, modify, find your challenge there, and work that challenge. And then keep modifying to keep going. You can do it, you really can, okay? I know you can, you just have to tell yourself that. If you show up for a workout and with 10 minutes, you just don't have it in you, then you can stop, okay? I get it. We have those days, I'll be quite honest, halfway. I showed up today, <sighs> trained for a marathon and the running is increasing and <laughs> I'm quite tired to be quite honest. I wake up pretty early to fit it in, but you know what? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I showed up. All right, you showed up and we're making it. We're gonna make it happen. We can do it. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, rest. Whew. So we're going back to the beginning. I'm gonna grab a quick sip. We're gonna swing a whole minute. Take that kettlebell or your, or your dumbbell. Here you go. Pop it under, shoulders back out of your ears. Neutral spine, there's no rounding on this. That's why I want those shoulders down and back. Just hinge like a tipping bird over and up. Good, you've seen those, right? <sighs> down and up, Let the head, follow the spine, squeeze those glutes, activate, squeeze those arm, arms against the armpits. There you go. Now you got it, we're halfway. You can do it, see? You can do it. Last kettlebell swing today. Let's get through it. Tuck that chin. There you go, come on. Squeeze. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Oh, we made it through that. Push up. All right. Again, you can do this from the wall, okay? Find an angle and push off the wall. All right, keep working. You can do this. Here we go. Last set of push ups. If that gets you through it, I don't know what will. <laughs> Always when I know I'm on my last one, it's like that extra burst comes to mind, right? And you dig a little deeper. There you go. Good. Keep going, come on. Ooh. 
Full push-ups. All the way down, release, dead stop. All the way through. Keep those feet and hips off the floor. We're halfway, we're halfway. Again, just start to modify to your knees, to an angle, angle up. Make it easier. It will still feel hard, <laughs> okay? It's not gonna feel easier, but it's gonna be doable, and that's the key. It's still gonna challenge you, it's gonna be doable. And if it's not doable, then it's time to rest. Here we go. Come on, hang in there, here we go. Three, two, and one. Yeah. Woo, good work. Squats. We can do this, okay? We can do this. Use a chair, too, if you're getting tired. Sit down on a chair and stand back up, okay? Again, <laughs> I take real pride. I'm sorry. I might sound taking it easy on you, but I don't do, you know, beginner level classes, or usually that's personal training if you need those, but in my groups, all are welcome to inspire and be inspired. And I give modifications for everybody. Everybody has a modification, all right? Just because we're at different levels or we have different issues with our joints that have happened over time, or flexibility, whatever it is, we can make it work, okay? This is a real pain. Same here, squat to a chair. Squat using body weight. You can keep going. We, but we went after, we went over that halfway a long time ago. I apologize. Hope you're watching our clock. Here we go. Three, two, and one. All right, crunches. We're down. Whoa. Okay, so you know, again, the Tabata is going to be that, uh, <laughs> that burpee. But that's good. You give 10 seconds break in there. Might be two minutes, but we'll have a break. All right, here we go. Let's get this crunch going. Last one. Good, that's it. Reach. Really pull those ankles over. It's tough, I know. Do your best. Like I said, you can come down here and slide through, okay? Either one, modify, keep going. Or just find a regular crunch up. Maybe you just wanna crunch here. Okay, it's all good. You're getting stronger, okay? We're working, we're halfway. Let's see what we can do, even if you modify. Keep it going. Good. Even if you take five seconds and get back to it, it's all good. Even if you have to rest here and go, rest and go, all right? It's a minute long, I'm okay with that. We're gonna get plenty in today, 10 seconds. Five seconds, three, two, and one, woo! All right, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. <laughs> we have one Tabata of burpees and we've done this, okay? Thank you so much for showing up for this workout, all right? I'm so proud of you, because I know not every day we feel like it, but you're here and you did this, and it was a tough one. Here we go, 20 seconds, down and up. All right, count them. See if you can do it again. Three, two, and one. Woo! I forgot to count. I started counting. <laughs> it's okay. We're moving, right? Here we go. Three, two, and one. Number two. Here we go. Let's go. Woo! And up. That's it. You got it. You got it. That little burst of energy is there because we know it's our last. We know we've made it this far and we're going to make it to the end. Three, two, and one. All right. Two more. 20 seconds. That's 40 seconds of work. You've been going a minute all over these. You got this. Here we go. Up and down. Woo! A little note on these. When you jump back, try not to drop. I feel like I might have done that just a bit. All right, keep that level plank. Three, two, and one. All right, last one, happy dance. All right, three, two, and one, let's do it. Let's make it count. Let's sprint to the end. Let's see how many we can get in here, 20 seconds. 
a hard finish to the hard finish to the finish <laughs> hard effort to the finish here we go Woo. three two and one all right grab a sip of water cool down we need it don't walk away I know you're busy I know you're busy stay here with me and if you do have to go, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell friends, tell friends. All right, <laughs> here we go. Looks like we're all good. Let's get that breathing in check, okay? Always, we're gonna breathe in and out. And I want us to go out to the front and out to the side with the exhale. Little rainbows, but come up the front, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, bring it down nice and slow. And out, good work. All right, let me know what you thought. I know that was a stretch today, right? It was a little bit of a reach, a little bit of a push, however you wanna look at it. But you did it, you're still here. You survived, you can, too. can do it, okay? Believe in yourself first, give it a try. And guess what? If it's not your day, don't get hung up on it, okay? Don't beat yourself up about it. Just keep trying, keep pushing, okay? Hashtag goals. All right, keep working at it. Woo, here we go. All right, let's bring that left arm across. I'll watch my mic here, but move it. All right, a little stretch here. Good job. Just breathe. Mine's still high, so we're staying up. We'll go down to the floor when, when it slows down. Good switch. Woo, there you go. All right, wow. I'm proud of us. I am. I'm proud of you. It was a tough one. It was a tough one. Here you go. But just know, you know, I give these intervals because some people are tra in training. Some people have been doing this for a while. Some people have the endurance, okay, and the strength. For some of us, we're just getting ready. Let's reach behind, interlace those fingers, chest out. So take your interval down. You never have to work my interval, okay? It's just a template. All right, go 30, 45, 50, maybe 40. It doesn't really matter. There are days when I show up at the gym and I don't give myself a rep range. I pick up weight and I go. And I just keep going until I feel like I can't go anymore. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. Just go till you can't go with good form, okay? Don't go past that point, but just see what you can do. All right, and just know that you're gonna get better with practice. There you go. Um, out in front, interlace those fingers. And I think I'm gonna sneeze here. I'm gonna try not to into this mic, oh no. No, excuse me. Don't we just love that? Here we go. <laughs> Hands on front, chin to chest. So sorry. <laughs> All right, let's bring those arms over to the left. I think that's a first. Left ear to left shoulder. Let me know if you've been here for a while. Rebecca, Josie, some of you, uh, let me know. Good, other side. Whew. I've had coughing spells, runny noses. I don't know, but a sneeze, I'm not sure about. Reach that um, ear over to your shoulder. Good, let's come to the center. Let's give it a little back bend, feels good. We're gonna give it a side bend too after working those obliques. Good, so I'm gonna have you grab your left wrist with your right hand, pull that arm long, get long through the spine and then reach to the right here, just pull. What do you think about pulling that lower rib cage up towards the ceiling, okay? Up towards the ceiling. So the shoulders stay stacked and you get the most out of the stretch. Make sure you can breathe, okay? If you can't breathe, come out of it just a little bit. You wanna find your breath. Good. Let's grab that right wrist, wiggle, get tall. Here we go, we're gonna bend left. Grab that wrist, kinda give it a pull, tug. Don't pull your arm out too hard, just, just a little pull, help it out. And let's rotate that lower rib cage up towards the ceiling slightly. You can feel the shoulders stack and you can feel the stretch deepen. Ooh, yeah. <sighs> Feels good. All right, let's come to the floor for a couple stretches here as well. We don't have much time. Let's just go with hamstring. Bring that right foot in. Sit tall, reach over that left leg. You can touch your toes or your shin, but I want you to remain with a nice flat back here to get the most out of that hamstring stretch. Good, hold it. Ready. These are gonna be our last two today. And again, thank you so much for showing up. I hope 
I hope I had, I had enough energy to get you through it, and I know you being there has given me the energy to get through it. You are the reason I showed up today, so thank you. You are the reason. Here we go. Sit tall. So I appreciate it. It's This is a, a full circle here, okay? <laughs> I'm here for you, and you are definitely encouraging me. All right. Nice flat back here over that leg. All right, and I have to say, like I said, I was a little tired showing up, but I feel good now, don't you? I feel like I'm ready for the rest of the day. My mood is switched. It's amazing, all right? So thank you so much. <laughs> I hope it was good for you, and I can't wait to see you next time. You have a great and fantastic day. Bye-bye.